So when do we get the spells back? I'm guessing it's just uh, this is when, like some when we have of... eliminated Umbridge from society. I would imagine. I, I don't know what happens to her, but like I, I kind of wish that she didn't get some like she didn't get some like terrified she she didn't get some like um you know attacked by them and then comes out like I feel like what would have been better is for her to have um for her to be tried in a fair hearing mm. and like have to end up oh right. I don't know. It would be nice to see her have to like slowly over years of like being realize realize what she had done and come around to that. And oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. I don't know. I'm doing the absolutely Maybe. wrong oh. thing. Sorry, that's entirely my fault. <laughs> um, yeah, it would have been nice if she was. I mean, like she almost certainly would have been after book seven. Um, it's yeah, just I mean, we didn't so see it. <laughs> So this is going back to Final Fantasy fourteen, and this is like mild mm -hmm. spoilers for Stormblood. But they have a character in that game who um, uh, does like unspeakable atrocities for a large portion before you even meet them and afterwards. However, they um, they lose their memory and become um, a quite sweet, docile oh, person, and um, they are protected from finding out about what they did right um and they you know they are someone is looking after them and they are also looking after that someone in return in in, in other ways and it's and, and they couldn't find a way to like write that in an interesting way i thought like it, it, it taps into this horrific idea right of you commit a crime and one day you wake up and you have no memory of that crime and you are just like yourself from seven years ago who's been put into your body in the future where you have committed a crime and it's like, how do you feel about this? Like, how do you feel about the fact that you have no memory of this? And for all intents and purposes, the you that you are now is not the you that did that, yeah. but you still did it. Mm -hmm. And all of the stuff that comes with that, like that would have been really interesting for that character to have to go through and whether ultimately they would have come to the conclusion that they um, should deal with the, the punishments for whatever they did or whether they yeah. shouldn't. And that is something which, one, terrifies me to wake up in that position, like, the yeah. idea that that is, like, it is a, such a terrifying thought because you've done it, you've, you've committed this thing, but it's not, but, but you have no memory of it, and it is not, like, if that memory never comes back, what does that mean? You know, there's there's a bunch of interesting stuff that come from that that I find, yeah. like, airy and fascinating. Yeah, no, that's interesting. I, and that would I, have been a really, and, and that's kind of something it would have been interesting to do with Dolores, but maybe from a point of view of, of not forgetting, but seeing her, how wrong she was, and her maybe starting to accept how wrong she was mm. and begin to move past it. I, I think, or at least you know, like we see a bit of growth from her rather than being like a super evil villain. But I think both. I think I, I don't know. I forget what happens to her. She just gets stampled, doesn't she? By she by a bunch of uh, invisible men. Uh, centaurs come after her. Oh yeah, that's it. Because she calls them a filthy. I mean, she's the bottom line is. I, I think I think because she is that like horrifying and and racist, she is simply just irredeemable, and I don't yeah. think she could even walk herself back from that. Oh wait, who's this? Luna. It's Luna. I love her. You've got a lot more makeup on than I remember having in the thing. That's why I was so confused. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Once are we are we in a level now? We'll find out. Oh. Yet. Oh, no, we're not. We're still no, in we're a level. Not. Yeah, this is like I guess like this is the whole overworld. Like we we, we don't like after the, oh is this you? after this point we don't really need to like explore the overworld that much because we we we're looking at it now. I guess. Um, mm -hmm. Sort of. But yeah, it's, that was very it, it was a shame. <laughs> it, it, it seems like they do this in like patches where they just kill off like. Sorry, I was still jumping back. They just kill off like the char these characters that they can't deal with, and it, it, it was a shame because I think they had kind of an interesting storyline that could have played out. And it's it's annoying when they do, when when characters just kind of get this this send off that is a bit. I don't know. More interesting stuff could have yeah. been done with them. No, I know what you mean. No, I feel like Dolores could have been an interesting like proxy for somebody who's, who works through their prejudices and ends up um, understanding and accepting punishment for that, for those things and begins to see not just the error of their ways, but like how they you know, like, 
could you attack this I don't know. Uh, thing? Sorry. Yeah, sorry, I'm just talking. Oh, no. Um. Uh, you know, I think like I think the whole point of uh, Umbridge though is that she's completely irredeemable. Yeah, and I think that's fine. Like, it's, it's, that's fine to have it irredeemable. I kind of would have been interested to explore if, we, if she'd have, if we'd ever gotten to a point where she might have been redeemable. Mm. Oh, that's cute. I mean, it is, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it specifically. I think you're supposed to. It's like a something plowing thing. Oh no, it's no, got it's a little a purple end to it. It's a fishing rod, but I don't know where it goes. Oh, maybe. Oh, there we go. Give me a fish. There we go. Glad well, we don't actually have to play a fishing mini game because I would have lost my. Uh, I don't. I'm not a huge fan of fishing mini games. Are you a fan of fishing though? I've never tried, and to be honest, I'm not entirely sure I want to. No, I've never tried ever. The last fishing game I played, fishing in a game I played, was in near um, Replicant, which oh, yes. I still. That whole section the, that they added in in I've only played the first section th bit through of it yet. I haven't finished playing the second um, the playthrough where I'm assuming it makes it a bit more clearer what's gone on. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't massively impressed, although it was a bit it was a bit weird and skeevy. Oh, that's death okay. in some ways. Um, yeah, no, I I like the game a lot. I put a lot of hours into it. I the one thing I dislike about the game is it's and I, I respect yeah, like the, the idea the of it. System. I, I just I respect the idea of like telling a story and then like it telling more of it the second time around and Automata does mm -hmm. it as well although it does it arguably better. Um, it, it just it's you you're playing the same game four times. Um, yeah, so and it, it, this is it's a long playthrough. Like <laughs> this is what people have um, leveled at Dragon Guard. So Dragon Guard has a really dull combat system in right. Right. And one of the things about that is, is Yoko Taro came out and said, that's the way it's meant to be. It's taking the mick out of these games that have bad combat systems. And I kind of have the feeling, and maybe it's maybe people won't disagree with me on this because Yoko Taro has quite a lot of support from people. Um, I generally feel like if you make something which is like purposely designed to be bad to make a point, mm. that doesn't stop it from being bad, it's still bad. No, yeah. You might have made your point, but it's still bad. Yeah. And it also means that I'm going to respect, um, if it doesn't respect, if that leads to like my, ti my time not being respected as much, then I'm also not going to respect the game as much. And by that I mean like, if I can find a way to cheat and make that easier, then I will. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I'm playing a game for a bit of fun, and I, you know, if a game, if it suddenly requires me to have to collect a load of ingredients that is purposely designed to take ages in a single player game, my response would be, nah, I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to cheat it because like, I'm yeah, not, there's it, no point. It takes a very long time in Replicant to get exactly. And so s Simply, I'm going to cheat when that happens because I don't have the time and I don't feel like the reward is like particularly like, in fact, it's needed to get the last ending means that. I know some people say, well, what's the point of playing games if you're doing that? But, like, like Persona... I want to use Persona 4 as my example again. Okay. That game is my go-to example for, like, risk... Oh, uh, right. Like, when you die in the original Persona 4, it, like, loses all your save progress. And yeah. the save system is made in such a way that you have to have an item to leave a dungeon properly. Yeah. It's... it's a, I mean, it's just a it's just a product of its time. It is. Um, but then Sonic 06 didn't have autosave. God, it didn't. Nope, it God. didn't. That's yep. so weird. It's so bad. Sonic, it, having no autosave when you died, you had to <laughs> you had to go all the way back to the last save point, which would always be yeah, like because because you died so often because of how janky it was. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I've gotten to the point now where it's less of a problem because I can play. I, I play and enjoy Sonic 06. But... Yeah, I quite like Sonic 06 for all its faults. It's me too. Stupid. When it becomes emulated. <laughs> <laughs> huh, I'm so quirky, lol. But also, that's cute. Sorry, can we fucking play as a festival? <laughs> yeah. We're just going around Hogwarts in a festival, and we can just avoid. I'm everyone. sorry. I will eat everyone. <laughs> right, Bless. where's Hagrid? We need Hagrid you to think, pull this thing You off. think Ron Strong? Bless. He tried. I, I quite like um, the new style of hair for Miney in this. Mm. Like the, um, the, little, that, the, the little, little braid. Yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. Have you, by the way, have you played this game before? Or is this the, is your first uh, time? I played like 40 minutes seven years ago. 
All right. Uh, I was I was gifted I the first one and this one, um, and uh, uh, and they said that I should do like a video on both, and I did. Actually, no, I don't think they did say I should do a video. I just said I would, um, and mm -hmm. I did like an hour of each. Uh, I don't know where I got to, but I I presume further than this. Uh, not further. So I I'm further than I was now. Um, yep. I, I would imagine I probably did like the first level a bit of looking at Hogwarts and that was it. Um, uh, but I'm not 100% sure how far I got. Uh, I definitely didn't do the second level. Um, so okay. whenever we get to that, that's brand new territory. It's going in brand new. No idea what we're talking about. It's going to be... I do like for Dolores to just... Exploring. Wandering around the school. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Well, she's just making, she's making sure everyone. All right, what? loading. What? 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 <laughs> I think that's the first time I've ever seen a loading screen in a Lego game. Yeah. That's weird. I guess. I guess I kind of don't really understand what they're doing at this point. Uh, yeah, they've not really explained. I guess we're about. To, yeah, I guess we're saying we should form in the order. So I guess we need to find the the room of requiem. The room of require requ requ requiem because yes. it's what people require. Oh right, we what what? We're in Hogs Hogsmeade to yeah, I know, but like we had the just zero zero like warming me up for this. It's just like and bang, we're in Hogsmeade. I'm like yeah, you... it is very sudden for some reason. In, that in is jarring. Game. I mean, oh well, <laughs> I'll live. Some pets can dig up glowing stuff. Well, let's find about well, Crookshanks then. Is that a problem? <laughs> I hope not. What do you mean, is that a problem? I just sent a snowball into the lake. I hope that doesn't matter. Where, where can I dig stuff? There. Hold B. Hold B to dig. So, uh, circle. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there's just a dude. Hello. You He's dead. are dead. No, really. No, no, you're dead. Hello. You're mine now. <laughs> Join. Wait, I feel like that's okay. Oh, and you student. you fix it. I gotcha. Okay, I so say you fix it. It's going okay, now I'm the dead. Stream. There we go. I'm dead again. I don't know why I'm dead. Oh, oh no. no, I'm sliding oh, in. No. I'm sliding in. <laughs> I'm sliding in. Uh, good stuff. That's how I like okay. to be. I do appreciate the, like the little no swimming signs. Yeah, they're little, they're silly. I like them. To remind everyone that we put swimming in a video game is is like at least I like I like it when near replicant like makes aversions of things like oh you can't swim or like oh I wish I could just walk back afterwards and he's like what are you talking about oh, oh, like ancient scholars figured out this couldn't happen because terrible things happened to you <laughs> and stuff which was a fun way of looking to camera and going I'm not programming this in yeah what's this uh. A newspaper. Okay, but I have now <laughs> for some reason. Oh, I need to. Sorry. Okay. Uh huh. Just doing it while you were. I see. You I, were I didn't realize. I didn't realize there were two of them. I oh. fix. I fix what? Whoa! <laughs> it's very floppy. <laughs> Speaking of floppy, Flo there's something floppy in there that's not. Is what I call my. Uh, you know. My finger when I broke your it. Your ding dang, um, your di ding dong, my tra la la. Yeah. Da 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 da. Oh wait, like, that is copyright stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna go there. It's fine-ish. What have I got? The Olympic torch, a spade, right? Yeah. You know they're the same. Olympic torch, spade. Frequently, I think. Oh wait, think there's another. There's another thing that. down here as well. Like there's a there's some gold stuff, and I'm, I'm floating How again. Let me get in it. I don't know. There's like um, there's like a thing that you can stand on here, but oh, uh, if we had the uh, like the studs. Wait, like... something gave me a bit of a boost. That... Oh, hold on. I think I can jump from up off here. Oh. I, I can jump on here, which is higher and closer. But no, it... wait, let's see. it doesn't work. Oh well. <laughs> oh yeah, no. I don't know. I don't know what the dealio is. Weird thing here that we don't. I don't know. Every time I get on it, it pulls out my cat. It feels like but that's because I've got my cat equipped. Yes, that would be why. No, I've got a spade. Um, I don't know what the spade's for. 
I miss snow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't. I never get it. It's really. It's quite a rarity. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm, oh, I'm very much you like. Want, you want this? Oh, so Luna's joined us now. Not, nice. not that she wasn't before for some reason. Why? Why is she not joined us before? I don't know. Um, could, could it be... I oh, guess. Oh. I guess to be fair, we didn't ask her. We've only just said we're creating the order now, and and imagine here how, she is. Like, imagine how whack it must be to live in um in 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 hogs in Lego Hogsme where things just blow up all the time. Like everything is made out of Lego, but also you are made out of Lego. You know. Hmm. Yeah. I we suppose. need a spade to dig these up. Yeah, there we go. One to go. I think the final one is Cho. I could be wrong. Oh. I've got a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> I think is what this is. Yeah, it's a broom of some kind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stop singing! Stop dancing! This is not. This is a no fun zone. I don't know what the the broom was doing, if anything. Um, we, no, we need that last potion ingredient. Is it here? Oh, how did you do that? I was doing Magic. that. I know wasn't... what I'm doing. Look at me. I'm uh, I'm I'm special. I was trying I'm, that. I'm I was your... not doing any of it. <laughs> I'm I am your average Doctor Who. Um, no, I'm your average. Oh, you know what? This isn't. We're not going to get there. Uh. <laughs> I need, I need too many names to get this to work, and I'm already I'm already I'm already lost. Uh, gosh, what is it called again? Who's the guy who used to write for Doctor Who but no longer does? Russell T Davis, Stephen Moffat. Moffat, yeah. I was gonna say I'm a Stephen Moffat companion who's the special. I see. But because uh, I can't resist dunking on Stephen on on Stephen Moffat at some point. For some reason, that is like a good nine tenths of what I seem to do these days. Is that because of H Mama Guys videos or? Oh no! It's because generally I've I, I like I stopped watching during the uh, the that period. Mm, I just got bored of all the all, all of the um, companions being more alien than the Doctor. Yeah, they sure did. Which is oh I don't know what this is, this is what this anti grav an, platform is up for. There's another dig spot which might. All right, let me let me let me do a dig. Know if that actually helps in this regard. There's something invisible over there as well. I like the way Hermione is chatting to somebody while her cat's doing a thing. <laughs> okay. Did that help? Oh! Okay. It's all open. Dumbledore's okay. happy anyway. That's all that matters. Hmm. Is that Dumbledore? Because I don't think he... No, he's just the guy who owns the bar. <laughs> all oh, right, that's oh, me. Let that... me yeah, do that. You. I can't do that. I'm not knowledgeable. Uh, what? You, you, for you see, I know nothing about uh, reading. So... <laughs> Oh, is it Punch and Judy? Yeah, but it's 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 it's, it's uh they they're having some rumpy pumpy. And Harry and Voldemort fucked the end. Oh no. Someone Here's your doll. Up. Wait, why did we give her a Voldemort doll? Uh, she now knows who he, who the evil one is. She wasn't one hundred percent sure, but we just demonstrated it for her. That's not what that meant, but I don't know. That's that's the best I don't know, guess I got. Smith, Smith, Tom Tom Marvolo Riddle or something. I don't know. We got an apple. Oh, uh, it, I don't know apple. what I'm doing with apple. Oh, someone maybe wants in an the, apple. In the big pig head, I think. Oh right, yeah. Oh, apple getting the big pig head. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Does that make cider or something? Whoa! Why? Uh. Back up off. This is all on you. Why is it was there probably a just a bogger here? filthy bogger. Yeah, but why? Here's a here's a hand that you wanted. Some random skelly hands. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, she was supposed to give me something, but I'm not sure she did it. No, she you did. She did. It, it was just herself. She's joined. We need someone to give someone a big club. I'm and like a lightsaber. Here. Yes. Oh, that's the basilisk, right? Yep. Do you remember that time when I did that thing? 
What are you doing, man? He's, get, he's getting the um the the the, the tooth to be yeah, able to use Yeah, but why would you go book. into his head? Like <laughs> Lego humor, man. It's all about that Lego humor. Zarami, yeah. Oh, Harry's stop just it. like, oh you. Stop it! Praise me more. <laughs> Buy my book. Praise I signed me it. more. Buy my book. Yay! By my oh, bed. That was a level. No, nothing bad's ever even happened in the bed. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> was, when, was, I don't think I noticed that we were going towards a, like an amount. No, neither. I just didn't give a sh... That, the levels in this feel slightly a little, a little more contrived, actually. I thought they would be less contrived, but they do seem like hmm. randomly chosen. It um, might be guess... less contrived in the final two, on the basis that it is away from Hogwarts, and it's... I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm not sure. No, I suspect you're probably probably right. Oh, Chief Dolores Umbridge is like, what are you doing I, I now? I hope she doesn't see our book on how to kill Dolores Umbridge. Oh no, she has. Oh. So she's like, like actually, uh, actually hitting students now, is she? Yes, yeah, she is. Oh right, yeah, this is when Neville discovers the room of requirement. Of course. Yeah. It's nice that like, uh, yeah, Neville, bless. <laughs> yes. He is one. He is one handsome dude now, though. He is. He is. Bless that man.